Happy Friday everyone. I hope you had a productive and creative week and that you are ready for this three day weekend. Welcome to my YouTube channel Aaron NYC Artist. Of course my name is Aaron and I'm from the city that never sleeps. So great they named it twice New York City. I always consider myself an artist. I went into art and design to learn about cartooning and illustration. Later I went on to School of Visual Arts to study cartooning only to end up as a textile designer. What's a textile designer you ask? Well, a textile designer or the other names that are lumped into that category is surface designer and print designer. Is someone who creates prints to be used in the following areas. Bath, for example, shower curtains, tabletops, fashion, pretty much the designs on a woman's dress, home furnishing, the designs on curtains and sofas, then there's wall covering, pretty much the wall covering designs you see in hotels, office buildings, hospitals, and homes. Then there's another skill I developed being a color separator. I will do a video that explains everything that I did in future episodes. Those topics will at least be a couple of episodes each. Each job that I worked for has given me experience that would last a lifetime. But the major lesson I learned is how to treat your coworkers. After being furloughed from my last job, I can say I was lost. I was so used to a routine that I did not know what to do. But the funny thing though, on my Instagram account, I, I was always seeing these pages about selling your artwork. It wasn't until I saw this company called Display. Display.com is a company that prints artwork on metal to be sold to buyers who like art. So I decided to give it a shot. I created a couple of designs, uploaded them onto the display to be printed in glossy and matte. Once I finally got the printouts, I was like, yeah, let's do this. I mean, what do I have to lose, right? Thanks to my mom, my boy T-Pain, and that one person who brought my Voltron fan art, I managed to make a couple of sales on that site. From there, I found ArtStation and then later Redbubble. I can say that Redbubble is great for those who create design patterns. If you're curious, I have the link to Redbubble on my YouTube page, also in the description for this video. Once again, thanks to Layla and Sherry for your support. I can say I started drawing at a young age, but when Voltron came out, I'm talking about the 80s version, not the one on Netflix. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. The one on Netflix was awesome. From the animation to the story, one of the best versions of Voltron that I have seen. That's when I truly started drawing. From there, I was drawing the Phoenix from the Battle of the Planets, aka G-Force. The Valkyries from Robotech, aka Macross was next. Once I got into Louis Armstrong Middle School, I began to understand how to create the human figure. It wasn't until I was accepted into art and design and later into and later going to School of Visual Arts that I was beginning to understand what art really was. I wanted to learn as much as I can to succeed in this field. Granted, I may not have gone the route of a cartoonist, but I will never trade the skills that I have learned over the years. But the one thing I have to do, but the one thing that I do have to do is come up with an illustration book. Now, the illustration book that I'm going to come out with is going to be based on martial arts. I mean, I have been a student for over 15 years and most of my art has been a major influence. I guess you can say I found my niche. Fantasy and martial arts and one nice ball. So, as I have been talking to you, you would have noticed the new artwork that I've been working on. This is one of three pieces that is part of the old Warrior series. This one is the female version. To get the pose that I was looking for, I asked a friend of mine to pose for me. I was looking for a pose that would work with what I was looking for. And this is the pose that I went with. From there, I started with a line, with a line in my sketchbook and the rest was, the rest is history. Some of you may have been, may have seen the male version of this product. I hate to say that I have to start from scratch with that one. Why you ask? Well, that's my fault. If you're going to have an old warrior outliving the young, you need drawings of dead soldiers on the ground. Of course, because of the way I did it, I would need to rethink the layout. So I figured I would scrap it, come back to it later, come back to it 
Come back to it later. That tends to happen to me when I get deep into something I'm working on. So, let's look at the process here. As you can see, I'm drawing, I'm using a blue pencil and Clip Studio Art to draw the rocks. First, I figured, let me draw the rocks coming out from one point going straight up. So, I drew a couple of rocks. I was like, let's see how this works out. As you can see, I'm still drawing. It was maybe about around here, I was like, is this going to work? And I, you know, zoomed out. I still kept going. I still kept going. Then I zoomed out again saying, hmm, let me keep going. Then I was like, uh-uh. So I deleted it. And I decided, you know what, let's just use the whole background. Now, the floating rocks idea came to me from those of you who watch Dragon Ball Z. So remember the first time Goku went Super Saiyan? Or whenever he powered up, the rocks behind him would just start floating? That's where I got the idea from. Yes, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan and a lot of water um, anime. Um, right now, some of the anime I've been watching is uh, Fire Force. Um, there's another one I watch, I forgot the name of it. It has something to do with cut the, a person's timer going down. I, have to, I, have just, I forgot the name of it. Another one was Gate, which I truly enjoyed. Um, I just finished watching the Castlevania, the last se the season four of Castlevania. I'm waiting to see season five. So here I started drawing a lot of the rocks. You know, I just little by little drawing rocks to see how it, it would look. Thinking to myself, okay, this might this is gonna work the way I envisioned it in my head. Um, as, as most artists, we always start with maybe a light blue pencil just to get our ideas down after we do a sketch. And because of technology, you know, yeah, we can do a sketch in the sketchbook and now we can do it on a computer using us, probably using a sketchbook as a reference. This way, if we mess up when we're doing the final product, we're not either A, scrapping the, um paper that we're using or B sitting there hoping that okay it doesn't leave a bad smudge now at this point I'm drawing the medium sized rocks I'm drawing some in front some behind I'm still going back and forth because I'm like okay is this gonna work how how is it gonna look as you can see I'm just you know just quickly drawing the rocks over um but at this point I think I was about two hours in drawing these rocks and of course I was rushing because um I had a meeting for my current job to get to so I was just like let me just do as much as I can because I wanted to at least try to get this out and I also was having second thoughts on the lady's face and her hair and the little, and the symbol down where her hand is look like something's coming up. I actually got that from Naruto. So those of you who watch Naruto, you know how he when he he was they were doing the summonings for their animals. And I figured, let me just draw these little um, logos or little things in there. I was, but afterwards I was like, eh, I might end up changing that, but just to give me an idea of what it would look like. I knew I was going to have to make changes because I wasn't going to be happy with what I saw. But it was just an idea, you know. Now here, you know, I'm going over the pencil mark. Now, I did a slight foo par with this. With digital, with most artists, what they do is they do a blue pencil and they will draw on top with the uh, the lead pencil. Since we're doing everything on the computer, you do your blue pencil on one layer, you do your pencil layer on another layer. Of course, because I was trying to do this quickly because I had a meeting, I didn't create separate layers. So, in my mind, I was like, okay, I hope I don't need to redo this. Of course, looking at it earlier this morning, which would which be Friday, I realized like, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this. So, the next time you see the next episode, this background won't look like this, the lady's face won't look like this, and neither would her hair. But 
let's continue on with the commentary with this one. So right now, I'm just using a pencil, a light pencil to go over the blue lines. I'm adding a little bit of detail just to give me an idea of where, okay, this is the, the different depths of the rocks. So if you notice, if you ever pick up a rock, it's not always, it's jagged it's, or it's smooth, but it has depth to it. So those little lines you might be seeing on the rocks, that's the depth I'm adding that I know I'm going to add. So one side, of course, is going to be a little bit darker when I paint it, and the other side is going to be a little lighter. And that little line is just going to probably be the barrier that shows between the two. Yeah, and it's also funny because I realized that I've been so busy creating artwork for other companies that when I decided to go back into being an illustrator or a digital artist that I wasn't creating for myself. I mean, that's kind of, in my opinion, I'm kind of mad at myself, but in the end, you know, when you're married and you have kids... You know, you, you're doing what you can to make sure, you know, you put food on the table, clothes on their backs, a roof on their head. You know, I think every father or parent would understand that. And it wasn't until COVID hit and then I got furloughed that I was like, yeah, you, you pretty much put your dreams on hold. And, you, you know, I didn't do it on accident, but... Yeah, now granted, with everything picking up, if I do go back into a design studio, the one thing I am going to do is make sure that I make time for my art. So the minute that, whatever day that ends, the minute I get home, after doing what I have to do, I'm at least going to de dedicate at least an hour, an hour and a half to my art to make sure that I can generate passive income. So that's my main goal for 2021 to 2022, 2023. I know everything take is a process. I trust in the process, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, if you're wondering what the program I'm using, the program I'm using is called Clip Studio. So I've used an earlier version in the past called Manga Studio. Of course, it changed over the Clip Studio. Um, and pretty much Clip Studio is good for um, those who are in the comic book industry, those who are animators. Um, I've also, most of my, the majority of my career, I've used Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, I actually started off in my first job using Corel Paint. And then later on, I've used um, another program called AVA CAD. Which is a uh, um, one of the major one of the um, major programs that I use in the textile field. So it's used for um, home and fashion. Um, and that's a, I have to say that's a pretty awesome program to use because you could do a lot of stuff with that. Um, I do still draw in Photoshop just to keep up with my skills, but. Right now, I stick to Clip Studio, and if I'm doing any textile work, I'll use Illustrator and Photoshop. And like I said earlier, I will be doing a video on how to create a repeat in both Illustrator and Photoshop because they're two totally different animals. Um, right now, you're probably saying, hey, why is it sideways? Because I've turned it sideways on Photoshop. Um, I do use a drawing tab, a drawing monitor called Huon, which I am... I've enjoyed. I'm hoping to upgrade it to one where I can just use a touch. It's more of a touch screen so I can turn it with my hands while I'm drawing. Um, but that'll be later down the road. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first episode. If you like what you heard and if you want to continue hearing, click on that subscribe button. And if you want to see some of the stuff that I sell, they'll also be in the link in the description. It's also a link in my channel page. And I want to say 
thank you for joining me and have a nice and safe weekend. Peace.